Hello everybody. I am Brother Luke, speaking for CES, the Church of the Eternally Secure. It's Sunday. It's actually New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2023. What a year it's been. Um, we won't be able to have our regular church live program tonight. Sister Renee needs to be with her son, Jim. He's, uh, today's his birthday. Isn't that amazing? Born on New Year's Eve, 16 years ago. So Renee needs to spend time with her wonderful son, Jim. Uh, Sister Shelley is not available either because she has to travel quite a distance to be with a friend who's had to go to the hospital for a very serious emergency. So please pray for a good outcome for her friend. Um, I thought I should make a short video not only telling you that we can't have the program tonight, but just reflecting on this last year and uh, Looking forward to next year. Uh, we've completed six years now uh, at CES. Six years ago, I began working with uh, Sister Renee. <clears throat> I thought a lot about uh, what I was going to say in this message today, and every time I thought about it, I couldn't hold it together. I apologize. Lord, help me. This has been the hardest year of my life. You're all aware that I lost my wonderful, beautiful wife, Cindy. We were married for almost 44 years. I never expected to have her leave me. I thought I would be the first to go. I never anticipated how difficult it would be to lose her and to try to go on without her. So this has been a very difficult year and I'm glad it's over. So I'm, I'm looking forward to next year and I uh, hope many more years to be in fellowship with all of you at our church. This, uh, this time has been difficult, but it's been possible to get through it because of uh, my wonderful family and friends who've grieved with me and helped me and our wonderful congregation at CES. At first, I didn't feel there was a reason to go on living without my wife. But I know that the Lord still has a use for me and CES is A purpose. We we need a purpose to to live, and uh, so CES not only has been a wonderful experience for me for six years, but at a time, but at a time when I needed a reason to to go on living, the CES has helped me with that. So uh, I want to thank everybody who's been a part of CES, not only this last year, but over the last six years. Uh, CES is not simply Brother Luke and Sister Renee. It's all of you. There's too many wonderful saints in our congregation to mention. I don't want to mention any names because I know I'd be leaving out some very important people. Some of you have been 
with us in fellowship for a long, long time, and some are new, but we're grateful for all of you. So, uh, this next year, I, I hope that uh, everybody can uh, make some, uh, some resolutions. Uh, I know that uh, I've always used New Year's Eve as an occasion to set a goal for the next year. And of course, I have a lot of goals. I'm, I'm gonna sell my house and move uh, to the other side of town so I'm closer to my family. Um, but uh, so that's an important thing that will happen this next year. And the, uh, I guess the, my main goal is something I've been talking about for many years. You've all heard me refer to this verse from the Apostle Paul. It's about prayer. And it's written in a very strange way. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad that that's the way it's written because I believe it's really profound even though it's awkward. Paul wrote, continue instant in prayer. What a strange way to write a sentence, isn't it? But I believe that uh, the way I understand that verse is that Paul is telling us that uh, we should be continually praying. Um, and that's another verse that says, tell, he told us to continually pray. But you can't, really, can you? I'm not praying right now. I'm trying to communicate a message to you. So I'm not in prayer. But when Paul says continue instant in prayer, I believe we should understand that to be a prayer should our, be our default. We should always be in prayer. And prayer is simply a conversation with the Lord. You know, I find myself praying more now than ever before. <clears throat> and I know I haven't been able to live up to the exhortation that Paul gave us to continue instant in prayer. In other words, when your mind is not occupied with something, you're doing a task, you're speaking, you're, your mind is on something. Well, you can't pray then, but as soon as your mind is freed up, we should instantly continue this conversation with the Lord. I taught that. I urged everybody to do it. And I know that I failed. And uh, I pray that this year I can I can master that. I, that. That my default will be always, when my mind is not occupied with one thing, that it immediately defaults. And I instantly continue my prayer with our great Savior God, Jesus. I'm sorry about uh, this being like a kind of a real downer, but uh, I want to try to finish with an optimistic message for next year. And I pray that uh, many of you will be able to have a better year. Maybe 2022 was bad, maybe it was good, but pray that this next year is better than the last one for all of you. And I ask everybody to keep praying for everybody in CES. Every program, we ask people to submit their prayer requests, and, and we ask everybody to pray for all, all of our needs. And of course, you can't remember every single prayer request, but we can, we can remember this, to keep the congregation at CES in your prayers and ask the Lord to remember us and help us with everything that we need and all the prayer requests that are submitted. Please do that every day. Well, we will be back on Wednesday for our Wednesday Bible study, and it's an exciting point uh, in the book of Hebrews. We're approaching a controversial, troubling verse for many people. Uh, we're in Hebrews chapter 10. So join us Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And I look forward to another year of fellowship with all of you. And thank you for all the wonderful 
kind, uh, encouraging thoughts and prayers that you've given me. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior, God, Jesus.